All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Plan Bree Uncut brought to you by Pirate Water. If you're listening to this, we know you ha- like to have a good time. You're a partier, you're a rager, and we have the drink exactly for that. It's a 10% ABV malt beverage. It's Pirate Water, baby. You already know what it is. We got Margarita, Sex on the Beach, Bahama Mama, and Miami Vice, four delicious flavors. If you hadn't tried it yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's the drink of the summer. It's the drink of every season, really. But uh, if you want to have a good time this summer, make sure you have a Pirate Water in your hand. If you haven't tried it yet, you can go to drinkpiratewater.com to find Pirate Water in a location near you, or you can order it now on GoPuff. We love seeing you guys drink Pirate Water. I love reposting all your stories. You guys are seeming to love it just as much as we do. So like I said, if you haven't tried it yet, make sure to get it now. Make sure you're sipping on what we're sipping on. So let's get into this episode brought to you by Pirate Water. What's up, my generous? Welcome back to another episode of Plan Bree Uncut. Uh, We chilling. We chilling for real. I have a question for you. What's up? Did you use mouthwash today or do you use mouthwash a lot? Are you out of your fucking mind? Do you think I use mouthwash? Okay. Um, Gia, do you use mouthwash? Yes. Okay. You're going to have diabetes. Ozempic! Oh, no. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. People that use antiseptic mouthwash twice a day have more higher risk of high blood pressure and type 1 diabetes. Antiseptic is... Even if you use it one time, then you have more chance of getting high blood pressure. And so, bye bye, Gia. But but I have gingivitis. I don't make the rules. I have sensitive gums. I don't make the rules. Sensitive gums. That's just what I heard. What did you say? The anti what? Antiseptic. Is that what I can't flush my toilet paper down the drains? (laughs) I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, it's a septic system. Septic tank. That's yeah. a septic tank. Yeah. Okay. I don't think those go in your mouth. <laughs> what? Those do, those are two different words. I didn't know why the malt wash would be doing the drain pipes. I'm just glad you're not going to die. I'm glad you're not going to die. Perfect. Hey, so geez. how you doing? Going to get diabetes, but she's not going to die. I already had one no. diabetes scare. Oh, no. Yeah. What like It was last summer, actually, in the office, because I, I, it was actually ended up being like just a kidney thing, because I got a UTI, and I got my blood test back, and I sent it to my friend who was in nursing school at the time. She was like, dude, you low-key might have diabetes, oh, God. and I cried in the office. Uh, she's failing her nursing classes. Yeah, well, she's a nurse now. So. Oh, she won. Yeah. She was just she, in school. She was just being silly. Speaking of which, I'm at a o, uh, OBGYN this weekend. Oh, yes. He's um, 26, 27, mm-hmm. railing lines at 4.30 in the morning. I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> hey, you know what? They got to they gotta have some free time, too. He said he's letting loose one last time, and then it's pussy galore. Okay, all right. What a guy. <laughs> was, he, was he good looking? Sure. How do you have a, okay, would you guys want to have a super hot OBGYN? <laughs> no. And then the other the other question that night was. Um, do you want your husband to be one? No. <laughs> I don't think so. No, okay. I don't think so either. That's too much inside. Mm-hmm. Right? Because what if he sees a woman with a beautiful vagina? And then he hates your vagina? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. All yeah. vaginas are different. They are. And they're all beautiful. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous, gorgeous vagine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, his best girlfriend was like. I want you to deliver my baby. Oh. And I was like, I did not want my best guy friend to deliver my child. Hey, well, listen, it's work for him. I know. It's but he play. can never look at him like, no, that's his job. I know, but he, I don't think he could ever look at me the same. No, that's his job. That's I what he's look put at on him this the earth same. to do. I think after you have a baby, it's like, whatever, dude. You saw my yeah. vagina. That is life. That is what I am here mm. for, to have a baby push out of my pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's fine. I saw my mom's. Exactly. And you can look at her. She's fine. Exactly. She's totally fine. She can look at you. Exactly. (laughs) See, it's all just life. That's the little circle of life, Grace. That's beautiful, Brianna. I know. Good days. It's gorgeous. I can't stop thinking about, okay, sometimes I just say what comes to my head and I said something that came to my head when someone talked to me downstairs and I keep replaying it and I just don't want people to think I'm mean, but listen, I have a hard time just um, lying to you. Mm. So I keep just replaying it. Sometimes you're a really good liar though. (sighs) Not like, not at all. Just Mm. when I'm kidding. Just when you're kidding. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I keep replaying that situation in my head, and now I just want to go hug some people that I don't even know. Well, do you guys know what I'm talking about? When you say something because it just comes off the tip of your tongue, and then you're like, oh, God, why did I say that? Oh, my God, I didn't mean to say that. It's supposed to say in my head. Every time. Yeah. Every oh, time I tough. open these lips. Jesus Christ. Well, explain the situation because somebody's going to be like, what the hell did you do down there? Oh, I didn't do anything crazy. Someone just asked me to do something that I didn't want to do, mm-hmm. and I said no. Because I could stand up for myself. Yep. <laughs> but I didn't. But mean... there's a nice way to say no. Well, I, I was just like, and it no. Didn't come up. I was just like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. And then I was like, okay, I'll do it. Now I feel bad. <laughs> and you busted open your overalls. Yes, I did. <laughs> um, so, where did we leave off? You know what I was thinking? Um, this is the third weekend we're away from each other. Wow. This is getting ridiculous. Three or two. It was 
Yeah, three. <laughs> it's coming. We're next week, and it's gonna be three. Wow, that's stupid. That's a lot. It's a lot. That's a lot of past time. Like I don't even know what the hell it feels you're like up college to. again. I know. What the heck? What the heck? I mean, what are we gonna do? And when we're gone from each other, we're all so so freaking occupied. So I don't even know what the hell's going on. Oh my god! I mean, everything's gonna be okay. I think. Well, you're gonna fill me in right now. Yeah. Well, I didn't do much. I, I haven't been. You're the one that's partying your ass off. Well, yeah. Yeah. So you fill me in. Well, you went home to Boston. I did go home to Boston, and it was very fun. The last minute. I I last minute surprised my family, and it was a big awesome surprise. And I never want I never want to go home because it's the like the process of getting there. Yeah. And like doing the whole thing, and I'm like I don't want to go home. But every time I go home, I'm like I don't want to leave. I know it's a blast. And it's so nice to go home and have girlfriends, a bunch of them. I know. I Pick up right it. where you left off. I miss it so much. I'm like, dude, if all of our girlfriends just lived in the city, it would be so fucking fun. So fun. But we don't have any girl friends here we do not it's just me and you which is great and awesome yeah but it's so awesome to have a group of girls instead of guys i know i just don't know where we're gonna find those cool awesome girls <sighs> i just because i just can't my problem is i compare everyone to my friends mm-hmm. that i've already had i know and they're just winning like they're so funny yeah and stupid and out of control can't and they get them. loaded yeah and it's just <laughs> loaded every, load, every oh t- we're going from wasted to loaded yeah now. <laughs> every time i go home there's a new word that they they <laughs> come up with with getting not come up with but that they like transfer in instead of saying getting drunk and now at home they say we're getting loaded and i'm like <laughs> i love that I my love dad that. says that <laughs> <laughs> I was getting, loaded. Getting loaded. Dude. We'll be oh. loaded. <laughs> so I went when I was home. Um uh, so it's my cousin's graduation and cousin's graduation's party mixed with a birthday party mixed with another cousin's graduation party that they threw in last minute. Okay. Who yeah. what the Packy. hell? What? Packy's high school grad. Oh, they shit. threw in on just, that. So it was boys were there too? Yeah, they just threw everything in. Um, at the bar? At the bar. After high school? Yeah. All right, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. No problem. <laughs> high school grad, he looks about 43. Yeah, so he's, he's about pretty 76. Good. Yeah, he's literally <laughs> seven feet tall. He's packing. Big bodied, yeah. All right, whoa. What? That's gross. He's packy, I said. Okay, all right. <laughs> Thank you. That's, <laughs> I just got all fucking weirded out. Oh, remember we said Packy last time and everyone was all up in arms? We were talking about your cousin Packy and yeah. they're like, and they're like, oh, that's what they call a package store person. And I'm like, yeah, that's what we call it. It has nothing to do with the race of which. To- no, his name's Patrick, so they call him Packy. I know. But last time we brought up your cousin Packy, it got into like this whole thing about how the word Packy for the liquor store is wrongzo. No, it's package store. I know. Yeah. So you call it the packy. Yeah. So, hey, you're wrong. Got it. Like, you, you're reading way too much into things half the time, bitches. <laughs> hey, yo, come on. Chill out. Hey, see? A lot of these bitches ain't bitches, though. All yeah, right. <laughs> come on. All right. So, anyways, we're home at the grab party and I'm chilling. I'm like, I don't really want to get too drunk because, like, I'm not supposed to be really drinking. Yeah. So I have, like, a couple, a couple drinks and then I'm like, where are the shrooms? Oh, yeah. And when I go home, I'm like, how am I going to get shrooms? So I'm walking around. I'm scoping the people out. I'm like, who can I ask? You, I picture you like this with your I hands. I was. I was like this. I was oh like, all right, God. where can I get my hands on some of these shrooms? And uh, I find someone. And she goes and she gets me a bar of shrooms, come back. And I'm like, listen, half these people never do shrooms. They need to live a little, all right? <laughs> so I'm walking around. I'm like a fucking salesman, like a door-to-door salesman. And a, I'm the best salesman. A hippie salesman. Dude, I'm like. Listen, because everyone's already wasted at this point. It's like pretty deep into the night. Cause, well, not into the night, but we started at 4 o'clock. So it's like 9 p.m. and everyone's loaded. Yeah, loaded. So I'm like, all right, <laughs> let me just do a little convincing. And I'm not going to force anyone to do anything. But I go up to people and I'm like, I'm just holding it. And everyone goes, what's that? <laughs> I'm like, oh, this? <laughs> just shrooms. <laughs> and they're like, really? What are you, are you, are you doing them right now? And I'm like, yeah, dude, they're great. Like, I'm just like so happy. They're like the best things ever. But like, I have so much. I'm like, I don't really know what to do with them. So I'm like, I'm I'm tricking these people into asking me for some. So, but like, what are you? What are you posted up like this? No, I'm just I'm just sitting there chilling. And I'm talking to people, and I'm like, oh, what? You these? waving a candy bar in the face? Yeah, it's in my hand. And I'm like, is it a candy bar or is it shroom shroom chocolate? Chocolate. And um, everyone's like, ah. Oh. And I'm just chilling and I'm smiling. I'm having a good time. So I don't want to make anyone do it. I want them to want it. Yeah. So then a couple parents start asking me for it. I'm like. Yeah, for sure. So <laughs> for I, sure. I gave a couple. I gave a couple parents some shrooms. That is pretty crazy. I gave a bunch of first timers some shrooms. And listen, everyone come up to me by <laughs> the end, end of the night. What? I thought you could say I gave a couple first graders some shrooms. Oh, no, that's first too timers. much. First, first timers. So I gave a couple first timers some shrooms, and uh, I never gave them too much. I was microdosing mm. a little bit, a little there. And by the end of the night, everyone came up to me and said, "Thank you, man. This was." awesome <laughs> this was awesome and i'm like listen yeah step out of your comfort zone man <laughs> this is great and then um but then by the end of the night they always hit when it's time to go home. yeah they do so i'm like dude what the fuck 
Mm. So I'm just sitting there and I'm like, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> and my mom came pick us all up. And then I just laid in my bed all night for hours because you can't sleep when you're sleeping yeah. that hard. And I just laid there and I was making up uh, scenarios in my head and I was trying to make a dream up so I would fall asleep. But I just sat there thinking for hours. <laughs> so that was what I had. For like I- three hours total because. Yeah. You had a plane to catch. Yeah, I slept for an <laughs> hour and then I had to catch a plane to come back. I was thinking of maybe going to Gov Ball. Then I realized, you know, I'm not really the biggest Kendrick Lamar fan, mm. so I'd rather take a nap. Yeah, that's, I mean, get your beauty rest. Yeah. Because um, so you, you look well rested. Oh, thanks, man. So what, what were you up to? A uh, whole lot of crazy stuff. Your sister was here this weekend. My sister came on Thursday and we went to Pat and Joey's Out and About. Oh, yes. It was called the Gay Bash. Yeah, it's called the Gay Bash. It I was, was a, there, too. Uh, yes, of course. Yes. And um, they had the gay bash, and there was a drag queen. It was all kinds of fun. My sister Nora loves drag queens, so she, she was all loves in on drag it. Drag queens. And um, there's this picture of her <laughs> where she looks like she gave birth. That was cracking me up all weekend. Uh-huh. Um, also, I so- love that picture of her dancing. At oh my god, Gunball. it was so awesome. Yeah, that, that was, was the sick. best picture in your whole Instagram post. Sorry. It really was. It was epic. It really was. I have a whole video. Actually, we should show the video when we get there. We're yeah. gonna get to that point. Okay. Um, Thursday, we did the. Big gay bash, uh-huh. and you see, he's he so well, I had I had one of my um my, my little crazy moments. Yes, I remember. This. I did. Yes. So I at one point I was looking around, and my sister Nora was talking to someone, and then I look around, and all my friends were coupled up. Yes, and out, out of, I didn't know what to do with myself. Also, out of nowhere, like all of our guy friends have girlfriends. Yes, it was really out of nowhere. Like out of left field yeah <laughs> and i'm literally i'm looking i'm like oh fuck i have no one to talk to and i got all worked up mm. then there was a love song that played no oh, god it was something about loving love i want i think it was like i don't know it was a love song okay and i pulled my little crazy shit and i said i gotta go mm-hmm. i gotta go or i'm gonna start doing bad drugs okay and so i did i it left took yourself out of the situation I took myself out of the situation you, i'm crazy but at least you know i'm crazy within reason I'm not going to start doing but a bunch of But before that, at that at the gay bash, it, it was so hilarious that there were the whole gay bash was going on and us and our friends were in the corner for 2 hours just <laughs> screaming songs. I know. That was insane. <laughs> that was fun. We were all just dancing and singing for 2 hours our friend group to, like went away and did our own thing <laughs> and then you left. It was uh it was like a sing along track. Yeah, it was awesome. Nora knows every word to every song. Yeah. My sister Nora. So Nora and I would go, we go get um Tacos at Street Taco. I saw you in the window, I think. You did? Did you? No. And you FaceTimed me. Oh, I FaceTimed you because I was, I wanted, uh, uh, we were walking past and the weed shop was closed on the way home. No. And I was like, maybe Grace has a blicky. I don't, I haven't been smoking weed. I know me either. I was randomly wanted it. Yeah. And I I'm wanted it this weekend too and I just yeah. chose not to. Yeah. It just makes you groggy. Yeah, it does. But, um. But you it, went to get some tacos. Yep. Went to go get some tacos and then we're uh, walking on the street, ran into someone from, um. Her hometown, my sister's hometown. It was crazy. I was like, oh. what the heck? Your sister's hometown? Well, yeah. I didn't really like, grow up in Pembroke. Oh, okay. Technically. Okay. Um, and then we went to another bar, blah, blah, blah. We ended up going back to another bar. So basically stayed up all night. Yeah. Um, next day, gut ball. Yes. Got gut ball on Friday. Um, so we, we, we went pretty crazy on, on, on Thursday. So it was really hard. To get to golf ball. Yeah. I was like crawling, getting ready, getting yeah. dressed. That's like the fucking worst. Yeah. So we didn't leave for golf ball until like four o'clock in the afternoon, but we went with our friends from work, Tara and Kelsey, mm-hmm. and um, ended up meeting up with Joey and Joey's boyfriend. Kamasta. Joey Kamasta. And uh, I had some shrooms on me, so I took a bunch of shrooms and it was friggin' sick. I love that for you. It was... Um, Ice, icy spicy. Oh, I know. That's the only reason I wish I went to fucking Gov Ball was to see Ice Spice. It was sick. I I was like, the one time I had to do like a pirate water ad was during Ice Spice. Oh, I was like, N-n-n- right now? Come on, come on. Wait, did you see fucking Diplo and GA? On yeah, someone's shoulders? he was like right, right over next to me. It was he, so funny. Yeah, he was going crazy. He was going crazy. Poor Diplo had like a four o'clock in the afternoon set. Yeah, what the hell? And so it was Diplo just fell like off like that. Yo, dude. Well, that concert ends by ten o'clock on the dot. Yeah, golf balls for children. Just for little kids. When we're walking in, they were getting younger and younger. Dude, the videos I was seeing, I was like, 
oh my fucking god these kids crazy. some of them had to have been like eighth eighth grade summer literally it was insane and we were saying also though how cool it is to be like a city kid or from connecticut and like have a, a music festival to go to when you're that young i know that's sick that's cool like but for the for the elders like us it's like dude this is hell dude they were running around like crazy like it was no, it was phenomenal people watching oh i like, can only imagine some girls having the worst day of her life the other one just met the love of her life yeah. the, the, fucking, the, the fellas these these young young men mm -hmm. that are that are um still in high school the confidence they radiate oh yeah they're walking around with their shirt off like hey you come here oh god and, and the girl's like yeah johnny oh, it was like god. so crazy to watch that's it's just insane i just felt really fucking old even nora who just turned 21 felt old yeah it's crazy yeah but um yeah no the the thing that stinks about gut ball is that it's all little kids just trying to get wasted mm -hmm. loaded i'm sorry it's all the little kids that want to get loaded and nobody gives a fuck about the music it seems like yeah so none of the performers all the videos i saw i was like dude the crowd was literally not electric it also <laughs> seemed like no one was at the stages like everyone no. was just in the background running around getting loaded yes and then the people that were at the concert didn't wasn't into it no i was like this is just this is rude it was so rude i felt like every time someone performed i was like I feel bad like that. <laughs> this like this audience is giving you absolutely nothing, dude. And that was last year too. And I'm like, they've got to be paying these artists a yeah. fucking arm and a leg because no one that performs at Gut Ball ever seems like they want to be performing at Gut Ball. No, <laughs> like I think that's like the whole thing. Like nobody wants to perform there. <laughs> like it sucks. It really fell off in like the past like couple years. I went in like 2016 or something when I was like a freshman or sophomore in high school and. I don't know if it's because I was so young. Yeah. So well, like we that's... about Jersey coming all in. The Jersey girls. The, the, ger yeah. the, the young Jersey, Jersey kids. Yeah. And I also was drinking underage there. But um, I felt... Thanks. Getting loaded. But I, uh, <laughs> I, was, I was loaded AF. Let's go. Um, but I felt like it was way more fun and people were way more into it. Like I saw Drake like front row. Like I yeah, just feel like sick. there was used to that's be... Real, really like cool. Florence in the Machine. Like yeah. I just feel like there used to be like like artists that really were on the like the biggest artists and they wanted to be there and then when I went last year at City Field it was awful I know like Billie yeah. Eilish's mic like wasn't even on yeah that's what happened to Lil Nas um Lil Nas's uh earpiece right, he, right when he came out he goes ah oh, fucking my fucking earpiece I don't even want to fucking be here this sucks <laughs> and then he went in the backstage I can't believe he said that he literally was so upset I felt so bad for him even though he said like like in the middle of his concert, he was like, "I, I, I could get off stage right now. Like, fuck this shit." Damn, it's like tough. Damn. And like, yeah, like, yeah. It's I just, just feel like it's like turned into something that it's. I, I, ever since it left uh, Randall's Island, I feel like it just went downhill. Yeah, yeah. It Even sucks. last year when we went, we didn't watch any of the concerts. We were just having fun, but because we were just hanging out. I know we were mm. pretending. Basically, we went to the park for the day. Yeah, we were, like literally <laughs> we just on sat the fake on a bench grass and like just chilled out and laughed. It but was also the only thing we watched was Halsey, and then we left. And still woozy, still woozy. Yes, but and even that, like no one even was into it. I know it was crazy, and I don't know what else they could do because they have such cool like pop ups. The food's yeah. awesome. They had so much food there. I wish I ate it but like my sister really wanted to like get to each artist and i think it was like i went like first for pirate water but second for her yeah and i just don't know what else they could do different because they have really cool photographers too i think it's the crowd it's the crowd it has everything to do with the crowd because they do like they have such sick like little immersive activities yeah. like all the film cameras hanging from the trees that was, that really was cool. sick they have sick photographers like you said but i think it all it's always the vibe of the crowd i know and if you just have a beat ass crowd that's not even chilling and just trying to get loaded I'd go to the bar i guess maybe like guess you could 10. make it 18 plus yeah, I was going to say, yeah. even like But then 21. they lose half their demographic and they want yeah. money more than anything. Yeah. But if they made, if Gubball made it 18 plus or 21 plus, it would, more people I, would, I would think I would buy yeah, it and right? take it for yeah. real. Yeah. Like because more last year, and the crowd would be better. Totally. Like yeah. last year I saw like my 16 or 17 year old cousin, me and my brother, and we both looked at each other like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, what I are we doing? If I, if I knew that it would, was older people. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. the thing that I didn't want to go is like, it's all kids. I know. Which is like fine and fun for them, but it's not fun for It's fun for them, yeah. Yeah. We just sound like, old hags like oh there's too many kids running around i never I wanted to be that person to this, though. yeah <laughs> if you do you're you're a legend for real you're a legend for real <laughs> you're getting that good advice well for there real. was a lot of legends coming up uh but the they're just tiktok followers yeah they actually a lot of them didn't know my name yeah <laughs>
they're just like, oh, yeah. that's like, yeah. All the young kids are always like, you're like, you're like the bar stool. Call her daddy. Dude, yes. Yeah, so somebody, you'll think this is funny. Somebody came, a little girl when we were leaving. It was, first of all, you had to walk maybe two miles mm. to get to the train. It was crazy. Yeah. And, and it's like uh, herds of people. Herds of people. I've imagined 30,000 people just leaving the same concert at the same time. I know. And they're very strict on it. It's over, get out. Yeah. And friggin' um, some little girl came up to me and she goes, Are you, you're, you're Color Daddy! And I'm like, yes. Yes, I am. I do the sex stuff. And she goes, oh my God, what's your, I'm like, I'm Sophia Franklin. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's me, oh Sophia. And she's like, can I get a picture? You're Color Daddy. It's so funny. It's so funny. I, I think it's the best thing ever when people don't, like they come Cracks up to you and they don't know your name. I'm like, let me just roll with this. Yeah, let me, let me pick, a, let me pick like, someone yeah. new. Yeah, I know you. Oh my I God. freaking know you. What do you know me from? Come on, spit it out. They <laughs> always never know. I'm like, this is epic. It's like playing, are you smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> yeah, for real. Okay, so you went to GovBall and had a night. GovBall was sick. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, so then we left GovBall and we were going to go see T Sophie Tucker at Marquee. Yes. And whoever I was with, he promised, he said, it's all set. You're ready to go. Your name's at the table, blah, blah, blah. And he couldn't, they, his names were not on the list or somebody removed them and he was a grown man, uh -huh. and he was over the barricade oh. going, what the hell? Let me in. Come on, man. Come on. We really, I, I paid good money to see them. It was like, I was like, that's like embarrassing. We need to leave. Oh, no. That's a boss baby. It was, he, was a, <laughs> he was a freaking boss baby for sure. Damn, what a guy. Um, and then what else did you do this weekend? Anything not notable? Then we went to Common Ground, and then uh, I was shrooming and left, and I ended up with this crazy guy on a roof. It was me, oh, Nora, oh, you tell me about this. Joey Camasta, um, Joey Camasta's boyfriend, your boyfriend, and this crazy dude. This crazy dude was like, How Yo, can we always end up with a crazy dude? I always <laughs> end up with a crazy dude, man. Um, I'm sitting... All I have is like a um a lounge chair that folds out to sit on on my roof, and then everybody else like oh, sits on like the vents. With the crazy yeah. Guy? Well, I told Julie Camasta like, uh, I'm leaving to go on my roof if you want to come. He's like, okay, cool. He he shows up. He's like, I thought you said you had a roof. I'm like, oh no, it's like an unfinished like yeah like white trash roof. And yeah. He's like, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm sitting next to this freaking weirdo on a foldable chair. I can't really get away from him. He's like, remember that last time we met? And I'm like, uh huh. First of all, when we left Common Ground, he took his AirPods and put them in mm. as soon as we walked out. Because he said everyone hates him, right? Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm getting to that. So, I'm sitting next to him and I'm like, he's like, remember last time? We, we really, like, we really shared a moment. Like, we really, like, I really think we hit it off. And I was like, yeah, like, what's your name again? And, like, whatever. And, and every time someone talks, he's like, everybody hates me. I really, like, I could jump off this roof right now. I'm like, dude, oh, no. no. Like, nobody hates you. <laughs> and then he would say some crazy shit, like, like <laughs> something, like, out of control. And at one point, I was shrooming, and I'm just like, bro, you're literally, like, a written character in a movie. Like, what's going on with you? And he was just nuts, and he kept trying to. He kept trying to. Was he trying to slide on you? I think he was trying to slide, yeah. You weren't down? I was not down. You were not down to, to see slide with him? He, he was creeping me out. Oh, God. All right, that's fair enough. How did, he get, um, did he get out of there? He just crawled back home. He ended up being like, uh, like fuck me, I guess. I'll go <laughs> home. I'm like, uh, all right, one sure. Of, one of those guys. <laughs> See you, brother. Yeah, later. So you don't remember meeting him for the first time? No. I mean, he looked familiar. Yeah. But I don't, I don't remember. I don't know. There's a new king of the city. There's a new king of the city. And that's Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday, I woke up at 4 o'clock. Supposed to go to gut ball. Okay. And I'm like, by the time I get there, it's 6. Uh, last set's at 8. It's two hours. Mm -hmm. That'll take three hours to get there. Yeah. I had to cancel those out. Yeah. Cancel those out. Uh, hung out at a rooftop party. And then we went out. And there's a new king of the city. <laughs> Perfect. What would you do Sunday? Um, Sunday, I uh, went to golf ball again. Uh, we had a little bit of a late start. We didn't even pregame. We didn't even want to drink because the night before, like we were just going all weekend. Blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> but Sophie Tucker was sick. Love that. I made it just there in time. Nora didn't know what the hell was going on, but she was <laughs> vibing with it. Okay. They actually sing and they actually play instruments. I didn't know that. Cool. It was very cool and very swag. Um, then a oh, little Naz with his little temper tantrum. Mm -hmm. And then, um, Nora... Got got the people going. Let's get it. Let me let me show you this video. It's freaking awesome. 
This is so electric to me because Nora is a very nervous person. Yes. And I can't believe she went in and did this and broke her fears down. It, well, it was awesome because it was Drag Queen Central and that's she where she is comfort. Queens, so <laughs> it's no. awesome. It's so awesome. So they were handing out uh, prizes for anyone who could jump in the circle. And I'm like, just do it, girl. Look at her. She's debating. <laughs> <laughs> or you give her a push for cardio. Yeah. And then she got it coming on. Let's go, Nora. <laughs> <laughs> See? You always just get the first one and everyone gets in on it. Look at everybody's in on it. That's awesome. It was fantastic. And she's doing her drag queen hands. I know. That's awesome. So it was she absolutely freaking awesome to watch. Girl. And then they started um, tossing out glizzies. That's just awesome. Tossing them out. It was with awesome. buns or just with, um, that's what I, I thought buns. they were loose dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's when they were telling me, I'm like, they were just throwing loose <laughs> dogs around. That'd but be hilarious were too. Tinfoil, I know. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So it's, she had the best time of her life. Yeah, she had a phenomenal time. And she's a huge Kendrick Lamar fan. Apparently, he's her number two. Oh, I'm like, what the perfect? heck? Yeah. I didn't even know that because like she was so antsy to get to Kendrick. I'm like, what? Well, I mean, we're just gonna get chill. there. He's the only one performing at 8:30. Yeah. And she's like, well, he's my number two. I forgot to tell you. And <laughs> then she ended up telling me yesterday that she lied. She just wanted to get there really quick. But oh, she knew every... She said he was number five yesterday. Number five. She said she just learned all of his songs for a guy and then actually liked him. Yeah. And, and we've, we've all done been that. there. <laughs> yeah. We've all that been there. That was me with Polo G. I was like, oh, I learned <laughs> all of these songs. Hey, he's actually kind of fire, though, Low Key. Come on. Um, Isn't that crazy? Well, learning songs for guys. It's so silly. <laughs> yeah. Have I told that story? Of, um, yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. I've, I, learned, I learned it for the Super Bowl. What would be your number one artist again? Lumineers? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. I would die to see them. Because I feel like a lot of the other artists I love are cool, but they're not as epic live. Mm. Lumineers they were, is like... They were electric. I just feel like a fairy dancing through the sky. I don't know what they <laughs> sing. It was just so beautiful. Maybe Zach Bryan now. Zach Bryan. Yeah. And then let's give... Let's do a third. Um... Uh, Oh, God. Miley Cyrus. Duh. Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus might do the Super Bowl, I saw. I saw that. She's in talks, yeah. <sighs> That's so that would be a lecker trick. I would totally go to the Super Bowl now. Oh, my God. Yeah, go to the Super Bowl because then she, cause she's not touring. No, I know. Maybe that's why she's not touring. She has to prepare for the big Super Bowl. No, oh, she's doing it for her mental health, which I respect. But what about my mental health? I need you, Miley. Out of respect. Out of respect. Who's your number one? Um, Rufus. Yeah. yeah, I epic. can't. I can't help it. It makes my soul happy. <laughs> That's how I feel about Lumineers. Okay, give top three. So here, um, then still woozy, and then Mac Miller, I think. But he's dead. He can be dead. <laughs> no, it has to be the ones you can see, not in heaven. I would love to do shrooms and go see Lana. Oh, yeah. Well, like, we're going to so see her bad. at Lollapalooza. Oh, my gosh, yeah. We're locked I'm, in like, on Lollapalooza. I can't believe Lana Del Rey is going to be at Lollapalooza. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. That is, like, so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> What's your top three? Um, number one, Taylor Swift, definitely. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. How could we forget? <laughs> number two is probably Noah Khan. And what about Harry Styles, or was it just a phase? No, I think Harry would be three. Okay. Because, because I love Harry, but I've been listening to more Noah recently. Yeah. But, yeah. We were saying that, like, um, because we, we were talking about this yesterday, and my sister and Brianna would have said Harry Styles, but when the concert was around, just listen to it too much to the point where it's like... Yeah, like I can't just really listen to... Yeah. I can listen to his older albums, but his new album, I'm like... Or newest album, I'm like, I listen I, to it too much. Yeah. I agree. And also, it's just not really my favorite album. Yeah. Like, I like Fine Line way more and Harry's, like, the HS1, but yeah, I don't know. I just... I listened to it a lot yeah. where I kind of was just like, all right, I'm yeah. done. But if someone was like, Harris House concert tonight, I'd be like, okay, I'll oh, go every yeah, single time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love him. Like, I still love him so much. But he's not on, like, my rotating, like, uh, playlist. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. He's got bangers, though. Yeah, he's got fucking bangers, bro. Yeah, he really it's a. It's the summer of concerts, man. Yeah. I just I'll, love music. I friggin' love concerts. There's nothing better than, like, going to a concert of, like, people... Uh, Festivals are different because it's like not everyone's there for that person. Yeah, but like that's a concert a one. where everyone's there for that person, you all share the love of loving yeah. that person. It's like, dude, give me a group hug. It's man. electric. We I can only imagine this guy. like Taylor Swift. I mean, yeah, like like everybody is just banging out a thousand songs. Yeah, wait, for you three know, hours long. Gia, you're probably gonna not like this. Oh no, um, cover yours. <laughs> but I got um, so this was. The day before, two days before I got my kidney stone, so thank God I didn't go, but I was, like, super sick, and 
Um, uh, all right, guys, quick commercial break. So you can face the intensity with Takis, the most intense snack ever. Takis makes the best and most intense snacks like Takis Waves, Kettles, Hot Nuts, Takis Sticks, Takis Pops, and Takis Rolls. And for the people who still want the intensity without the spice, you must try their intense nacho. The first non-spicy Takis flavors, they're still insanely cheesy, but also still super intense. These ones are probably my favorite. I like spice, but I'm not the biggest spice gal. So when Takis came out with these, I fucking devoured them. I'm addicted to them. They're so good if you haven't tried them yet. Make sure you do. Takis snacks are the perfect snack for any occasion, road tripping, gaming, while watching TV, chilling, listening to this podcast, hanging out with friends, going to Central Park with your cats. No matter what you're doing, having Taki snacks on hand makes the day so much more intense. So try Takis today and face the intensity, baby. Let's get back to the episode. So uh, this, these people reached out to me and they wanted me to fly to Chicago and find a person to give away floor seats front row to Taylor Swift concert. And then I take the stranger with me. Oh, my and we God. Go front row <laughs> to the Taylor Swift concert in Chicago. And uh, I was like, dude, first of all, I'm wicked sick. And at this point, I didn't know I had kidney stones. And I was like, I just don't know if I could do that. And then I started thinking about it. I'm like, I don't know. This is awesome, epic. But like, I feel like I don't deserve this. Like, I'm not a big T-Swift fan. So I didn't go. But uh, yeah, I almost did that. (laughs) Damn. But thank God I didn't because I would have got kidney stones at the concert. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, sorry, I I wish you went because I think you would have really been converted more into a fan. No, I totally would. I I think I would love her concert. She's a fantastic performer. How the hell is there a bug in here? There's no windows. Uh, summertime, <laughs> summertime in the city. In the city. Do you guys see all those fucking crickets all oh, over? Oh yeah, yeah. No, stop. Uh, I, I think can't. it's Utah. It's crazy. I think I, I think I liked it. It's I have like, so many bugs in my apartment. I actually can't. I can't. Oh, you have to see this, Gia. This it's will make crazy. you feel better because this will never happen to you. I pray on my life. Just imagine living like this. When I first saw the video, I thought it was spiders, and I was like, I wouldn't even leave my fucking house. There's another bug in here. Did you get him? I, oh, I was so close. Oh, ugh, I hate it's bugs. It's so I gross. Hate bugs. I hate bugs. And they're squishing them with their car. <laughs> That's all of them? That's all, all of them. Crickets. And this is like, this is just a random row, but they're all over people's houses like that. Like you step outside <gasps> and you can't even walk outside because oh there's fucking crickets everywhere. Wait, just wait. There's a guy on a motorcycle. He has to put his freaking feet out for the crickets. Oh my they're God. They're probably crawling up with his leg. <sighs> Honestly, though, hashtag yucky, hashtag smelly. Oh, <laughs> hashtag oh yucky they probably stuff. are so smelly. Ugh. Why is Why that would you drive happening? your motorcycle, you fucking serial killer? Stay inside. That reminds me of um, that religious story. When, locusts like, with locusts. Yeah, 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 yeah. When they send all the stuff and then like send like the frogs and shit. This just like doesn't make sense to me because it's like, where did they all come from? I don't Why understand. are they all here right now? What is going on? And then how do they all go away? Speaking of crazy bugs, there was a bee inf- infestation in I Times saw Square. I that. that too. That was yeah. crazy. Let's pull that one up. And they um they saved them though. I feel like um somebody I feel like somebody pulled a prank with that one. You think? Where did the bees come from? I don't know, but I learned a lot of facts about that. You know, I, I didn't know bees wouldn't sting you if they're not protecting a nest. Yeah, I didn't know that either. So they just they're they're not harmful at all if you don't have a nest to protect. So they're just chilling. They won't even sting you up. But I was thinking, imagine just a dude walking through that allergic to bees. Yeah. And he's like, I live in New York. I'm I'm never going to get stung by a bee. <laughs> and then he just walks out of his corporate job and dies. To a swarm of bees? That's that a lot of bees. In fucking sane. It's really crazy. Look dude. at them all. Honeybees. Honeybees is such a cute little name, though. Honeybees. I know, honeybees. They seem so sweet and adorable. Bumblebees. My little honeybee. My little honeybee. <laughs> I think bumblebees are adorable. They're they cute. They're cute. fluffy. Yeah. Fuzzy. Fuzzy. Little fuzzy little bitches. Yeah. They don't sting you, do they? No, they bite, though. Ouch. Do you not like ladybugs? I love ladybugs. We love ladybugs. Somebody hates ladybugs. And I'm like, who the hell hates ladybugs? Yeah. Well, because ladybugs do in infestations, too. They do. Yeah. My Actually, my Ooh. nana had a... I think maybe it's one of my cousins that is scared of mm. ladybugs. But my nana had... Um, she pulled back her curtains in one of her old apartments and... Like, you know, the inner curtains, like the ones that are see-through? Yeah, yeah. Those were just, the whole entire things were covered in ladybugs. Oh, that's that's where it gets like a horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's not I think cool. any bug in too much is scary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was chilling with a bunch of slugs this weekend and they were adorable. What do you mean by that? There was a bunch of slugs at the graduation party and I was just playing with them on my fingers and they were so cute. You slugging around? Yeah. And I was like, damn. And I was on shrooms and then I, I put the slug back with his buddies and then I started thinking, man, what if they're not buddies and I put them in the wrong circle? 
<laughs> and I was like, this is going to be bad. And then I was like, should I get them? And then I was freaking contemplating for a while, man. <laughs> it was a lot. But yeah, slugs are awesome. Have you ever put salt on a slug? No, I would never do that. It's so rude. I, I did it once and I cried. I felt really bad yeah, after. Evil is torturous. I shit. was like seven and I always wanted to know what happened. And then I screamed at the top of my lungs. When I killed my first bug, there was these orange bugs that used to have at my uh, uh, place in Southie, like on the stairs. And I would sit on my front stoop because I had nothing else to do. And I remember I was like, oh, and I killed my first one. And I ran inside and I started screaming, crying. And I'm like, dude, his kids are waiting for him at home. <sighs> and their mom is not going to come back. And then I just started spiraling. And then I'm like, what did he do? His only crime is being small. <laughs> and then you kill him just for being a small bug. What an empathetic intellectual of a child you were. Oh, I just didn't have any buddies. So I was friends <laughs> with bugs and animals. But I was like, what the fuck, man? I just killed him for no reason. <laughs> and his kids that, are waiting. That's all I could think of for fucking days. I was up in arms. But yeah, killing bugs is fucked, I think. Nah, okay. nah if there's I'm a bug sorry, in my house, I'm, I'm kill freaking bugs. killing it. Yeah? I'm, you're just going to let that bug... Oh, take it out. That's a lot of work. I think it's not. <laughs> what about spiders, Brianna? Well, I can't get near a spider. Yeah. But I can't I can't even get near it to kill it. Yeah, but if somebody's in your home with you and he's about to well You go like this. Put he's it in about a to jar. your boyfriend's about to kill your spider for you. Yes. He's going to kill it. You're not gonna tell him to take it outside. Well, I get scared that spiders, um, when you crush them, they don't die. Yeah, that's how I feel about cockroaches. So you just put them in lie. something and then put them outside. Hmm. But I was really scared of um, I was really scared of uh, that cockroach I had in my apartment when I first moved in. Remember? Yeah. Thank God I never saw another one. I know. Never saw the light of day. Oh, that Jesus was a fucking Christ. nightmare, man. Dude, oh, I can't no. stop looking at apartments. I just want to move. I know. I am so friggin' scared to move. Are you excited though? I'm so excited. I'm. I can't wait to have my own place. But there is no apartments for less than twenty five hundred dollars dude i it's know crazy. and if it is less than twenty five hundred dollars it's one of those communes where it's a shared bathroom and mm. it's a, a 20, 20 feet big yeah no closet it's the friggin what's the the friggin smallest apartment in the world tiktok guy Axel. that's twenty five thousand. whatever fucking happened to that motherfucker what did happen to him moved to la he moved to la and fell spy. off actually victoria paris just said that the other day she's like what happened to him? He totally fell off. No, I saw that. She was like, if uh, if Axel, dude, he's so pissed he moved to LA. He'd be making sick videos being Spider-Man during this fog shit. <laughs> He'd be climbing buildings. That fog shit was crazy. We I even know. talked about that. Yeah, that was fucking insane. That was nuts. It felt like doomsday. Isn't that... Dude, it got me thinking like, in our lifetime, we're totally going to see the world start falling apart. Yeah. Like the world's going to end probably when we're like... 70. 60, yeah, yeah, 70. I do feel like we were way too chill about all this. Yeah, it was, <laughs> like, I mean, it was like super chill. Couldn't breathe. Do you know how the fire started if they were like forest fires or if they were... Okay, I kept getting a lot of comments up. and I'm just, it's just, I'm reading comments, all okay? Right. They kept saying... They started the fires. We okay. didn't start this, the fires. They kept saying Canada started the fires on us. And I saw that. And it's not funny. You guys aren't taking this seriously. Like we're under attack. And I'm like, what? No. You're on not. drugs. You're on drugs. But are you? I don't know. I Let's did look see it up. a TikTok where yeah, it look looked it like the it says, helicopter. Sorry. You keep going. No, it's okay. um, I, it looked like the helicopter was pouring out flames. Oh, God. But I do think maybe uh, the helicopter caught on fire. I don't think there's a flamethrower helicopter. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that seems like some G.I. Joe shit. Let me see shit. if I can find it. It says that lightning caused the fires for about 85% of land burn. Lightning caused fires happen in clusters in remote locations. Due to climate change, similar extreme weather events may continue to increase in both frequency and severity across our country. <gasps> So God started the fire. God started the fire. It was always burning mm -hmm. till the world was turning. Yeah, we damn. Didn't I mean, start the fire. Imagine like how bad it was for Canadians if we I were know. having it so worse. But it, New York City was the worst in the whole entire world air quality that it's ever in the world. Serious? Because it's already it's, foggy enough here. It was up uh, to four hundred and fifteen in Brooklyn air quality. In regular air level, like healthy, is like forty. That's crazy. Isn't that fucking insane? That's really fucked up. And everyone's just like, yeah, it'll be fine in two days. And also, New York handled it so poorly. There was no, like, like public service announcements. Like, they did it after the fact. No one knew how to be safe. Like, everyone was still outside. I don't everyone know if just... they realized that the smoke was going to travel that far, though. But, like, still, they were... It was insane the way they handled it so fucking poorly. Like, there was no reaction to it. It was I, after the fact. I know. Like, literally... 
everyone just kind of was like, well, I guess we should put our masks back on. Yeah, and that doesn't even do anything. Yeah. You need a gas mask. That's crazy. It was so fucking insane. And we did take it very chilly. Like, yeah. The we world like, is totally ending soon. We were like, oh, yeah, make sure you shut your windows. I don't know, stay inside. Yeah, <laughs> I know. We were here. I was like, yeah, my window's open. I drove the bike to work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah literally. I, was, well, I went to the water to eat my lunch. <laughs> like, yeah, we were right. We were fools. My mom, my mom's always calling me, telling me what's on the news because yeah. we don't have the news. Yeah. <laughs> and because she's, you know, she's, she's a mom. She, she watches the Today Show. Yeah. She keeps up. And she called me. She goes, you okay? Is everything all right? Because they're, they're saying it's really bad in New York right now. I'm like, no, I'm riding a bike. What's up? That's insane. <laughs> she's like, you, you shouldn't be riding a bike. <laughs> like oh at all. God. Yeah, you could, well, could have dropped dead. <laughs> it's so silly. That's fucking crazy. You know what I started doing? What? I started watching um, the news every night. Really? It's on Hulu. Oh. ABC. It's just all, it's the nightly news and you can watch it and then you can know stuff. Uh, yeah, I think I should start doing it's that. It's a lot better. I'm so sick of being fucking And it's stupid. world news, so it's not just, it's, it's not, not just, just what's America. happening in your neck of the woods. Yeah, it's, 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 it's world news. <laughs> it's world it's news. It's pretty cool. Did you see the fucking kids that got lost in the Amazon jungle in a plane crash? No. Okay, dude, so there was this, there was this family and they were tra- traveling in a tiny plane across the amazon and it crashed the mom died like the two other adults and it died then the there were seven kids they were all siblings the oldest was 13 the youngest was one year old oh my God. they survived in the amazon jungle for like a week on their own and they just got found that 13 year old is a baller yeah they were saying because the 13 year old had some knowledge of like because they're like native to the amazon mm-hmm. like knew how to like survive off the land kept a one-year-old alive that's crazy and there was like a three-year-old a four-year-old a seven-year-old five-year-old it's like jungle book but with extra characters yeah and imagine dude you get in a plane crash first of all insane that all the adults die only the children all the adults live died. all the adults died and the children just made it out and they found them like two miles away from the plane crash jesus christ isn't that crazy that's wild. I know. I was like, that's some fucking heroic shit. How'd they find them? They never, you never found. They found, they, they, I know they started looking for clues. I guess there was a dog and if they didn't have the dog, um, they wouldn't have found it because he found clues of like half eaten food and, f- um, fucking, uh, footsteps. But they then- had a dog with them? No, no, no. The dog in the search party. Oh, oh. But then the dog that helped find them, like the only reason they found him fucking got lost in the woods. No. The hero. Yeah. So that fucked. That's terrible. Poor fucking dog. But that 13 year old, I'm like, dude, you're just a better person than I'll ever be. Yeah. You're a fucking hero. You're a hero. You're and now you're the man of the house. Yeah. I think it was a girl. Oh, the woman of the house. How, for, how fucked of me to assume? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> the heck? But yeah, dude, that was epic, man. Also on the, on the nightly news. Okay. There was a, these stories are just insane. At the end, they do like a crazy story. There was a whole, um, a whole wing of a hospital. There was like, I think 35 nurses, doctors, and like people at the front desk, they all got pregnant at the same time and they were all on maternity leave at the same fucking time. What the heck? So the whole wing of the hospital, there was no more workers because everyone was pregnant. On maternity leave? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. It was like this big pregnancy pack. What the hell? Yeah. I was like, what am I watching right now, man? What? Yeah. Was, I had two gym teachers and every year they were always pregnant at the same time and every year they would always get maternity leave together. What the hell? What the I know. Heck? You know, a substitute gym teacher is hilarious to me. They're always like yeah. just it's the <laughs> biggest freaks, <laughs> or it's yeah. just like some dude that's like home from college. Yeah, and he's like, <laughs> I don't know. Let's play I just p- want a ball, but I don't <laughs> have a gym membership. <laughs> play dodgeball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, gym teachers. I love that were, movie. <laughs> gym teachers were either fucking like so uh, perverted. Per- oh my yeah, god, that, like old, like so serious perverted or like young and hated their lives yes yeah there's no in between yeah i remember fucking my one in high school dude she misses mrs Folsom. shout out you but dude she fucking <laughs> oh, she, she doesn't really fall under either one of those no she was just nah she was a hardcore gym teacher though yeah she, she had took a whistle. very serious no need for a whistle no need for the whistle oh you're not a referee nope i mean she loved her job she yeah. was a very nice lady but she had like a she had a mullet going she had her gym shorts always had that whistle in her hand and i'm like you never blew it though. She just had it. She just always had she it. She would never blow it. She never blew she it. She had it going on. And I was like, what is going on? And I just remember always every gym class I'd be like, I call my period, man. I can't yeah. do this. Yeah. I feel like I always have my period. And then my, in gym my, class. Gym, my male gym teacher would be like, oh, okay, yeah, uh, go to the nurse. Uh, you're fine. Uh, uh. Yeah. Like, oh, that period card was insane. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, the good old gym teacher days. Mine wore tracksuits. Oh, nice. Every track day he had that's a like different tracksuit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 
He was very, honestly, he was very similar to Sue Sylvester, I will say. <laughs> oh, God. But Everyone's talking about Glee. Should I watch that? Mm, it's really corny. I know, but everything on TikTok is fucking Glee shit. I'm like, what's going on? Isn't this from, like, the this It the is archives? funny, though. There, 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 there is pretty some funny moments, I will say. Yeah. It's a musical, huh? It's, yeah, they, they, they start saying it. Okay. They start, yeah. you, I think you were dated. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll check it out. If um, I'm feeling really bad about myself, I'll watch Glee. <laughs> Just to like sit and sulk in my self pity. And watching um, Leah Michelle, is that her name? Mm-hmm. Leah Michelle, she she has this um, singing voice. She can't read. I mean, yeah, she can't. Well, that's what they say. Okay. She's got this um, she's got this singing face that she does, and it's just like. What is it? It's like, it's like ah, yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's, yeah. Oh, I thought, yeah. It's, it's pretty Wait, hilarious. Is she, am I making things up? Well, I think I am. But the does she sing the Frozen voice? No, that's it. And Adina Menzel. And she looks Adina exactly Menzel. like Leah Michelle. Adina Menzel plays her aunt on the show, or her mom, or some sort of okay, motherly yes. figure. Okay, they look alike, right? Yeah. Yes. I always get those two twisted. Yeah. Mm. Jesus Christ. But everyone says Leah Michelle's a bitch. Um, that's what is told through the grapevine. She she can't take a joke. That's that's for one. Oh God. Yeah. What the fuck, Leah? Oh, speaking of s- crazy singers, what the fuck happened? I have a crazy video. Right, right, friggin' here. Okay. Um, Shania Twain. What have you seen her? this? No. I don't know what the hell she's doing, but she's on tour, and people are like, what the hell is going on? The search bar is Shania Twain concert train wreck. Oh, God. Oh, no. What the yeah. fuck happened? It's a pretty brutal watch. All right, let's I pull love this her bitch too. Shania Twain, Shania Twain. She, can just, she just can't really work a crowd at the current moment. Cool. Cool. How old is she? About being um, a woman. If I had to guess, like 50. Late 50s? Oh, Shania I was thinking she's way older. 20. Not because she looks older, but I 57. feel like that's an older that was, name. I was going to say 56. So why is she, like, what's the, like, she went away for a while? What's, like, this new obsession with she, everyone just found her again? I know. She went away for a while, then Harry Styles brought her on Coachella last year. Yeah, I remember that. that. And that was, like, a big to-do. But now she's, like, headlining these festivals, and I'm like, I don't know where she's going on. From again. Do you even have a new song? No, this is not slander. I'm just not understanding the recent obsession with Shania Twain. Yeah. Just trying to get everyone going. Oh, <laughs> She's wearing a wig. Everybody. <laughs> 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 She's like giving up. <laughs> Shania, you're passing away at the mic. <laughs> She's like falling asleep. <laughs> okay. It kind of reminds me of like my mom. <laughs> like my mom when she's drunk. And just trying yeah, to, she's yeah. like singing and dancing. She's like, come on, guys. Just have yeah. fun. This is it. This is shower beers talk. You know how I always say I could be a pop star? Yeah. But I say I can't because I can't sing? Yeah. That's why. That's what I would do. Yeah. <laughs> <That's insane. laughs> and then it's so sad. She's like, come on, everybody. They're like, no. That's Liz giving <laughs> King Kylie era. King Kylie era. Okay, Shania, pop the fuck off, bitch. Do that always kind want. of annoys me when artists like, and it does, Noah Khan does it a lot, but like it's different with him. But I hate when artists like always hand out the mic for people to sing. I'm yeah. like, no, you do the singing. You do the yeah. singing. Come like on. it's your job. Except for that one video where Beyonce and she's like, yeah. the, the one girl. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, funny. that's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Also, you know what pisses me off? How come rappers can never just get on stage and rap their songs? They, they just, just let the track play and twerk. Yeah. I'm like, dude, I, 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 it wasn't rolling loud. No, it was rolling. No, Summer Jam. Summer Jam. Big, uh, Big Lotto and fucking Cardi B went out and did Whip Me Out the Plastic. I bet I could bring a new banger, <laughs> by the way. Um, but Big Lotto comes out and she just, she sings like two words and then she, she's got great stage presence. And she's twerking and busting that bitch open. But I'm like, why don't we rap? I know. And then Cardi B went out. And I think that's why Cardi B went out. She did rap the whole thing and everyone like, damn, Cardi, you tried. <laughs> I'm like, all right. You almost had that one bitch. But it's just like, why? I don't know. No rappers can actually rap in real life. I'll tell you right now. Ice Spice was spitting. That's real track to know. Yeah. And it, it was always fantastic. spits. Nikki always spits. Yes. Yeah. Cardi B, I'll give her to her. She, she tried that shit. Yeah. She gave it a whirl. Yeah. But it's like rappers <laughs> always just let the track play. I know. Like, I want to hear you, man. Um, Lil Uzi, we saw him on Friday and... 
he, you know, I just want to rock. And he played that and then he ran it back two more times and it was three <laughs> times. And well, for people the, must all, have been like sweating. Dude, we were all like, oh, oh, oh. it was yeah. awesome. That's so fun. <laughs> I was on shrooms. I'm like, this is good, right? Say <laughs> that's the best song to just bust your ass to. Yeah, and I couldn't stop busting my ass that's open. I was awesome. free spirit. Didn't give a fuck what anyone thought. I was like, oh, <laughs> I probably anyway. looked right, say. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> yeah, rap. Uh, but Kendrick Lamar was really good, though. He was really good. I just didn't know any of the words, and I didn't want to say that out loud because everybody was really there to see him. Yeah, and I just I wanted to like. I feel like he was the biggest one there. Yeah, huge. Yeah. And he, they made it so um, he was the only one performing at that time oh so everyone so at the everyone festival was there went i think that must have been the agreement because he was probably like i'm not performing for, for like 20 people who yeah. was the other headliners um lizzo okay it was either lizzo or uzi i pick uzi okay um and then but i thought lizzo would be really funny on shrooms i thought i just like when she pulls out the flute yeah would have been hilarious but nora wanted to stay for Lil uzi and then um odessa odessa was sad oh, word but i just couldn't i just couldn't get there mm. <laughs> yeah that's epic. It was epic. I just want to rock, rock, You know what's rock. funny? Um, so we were in like the VIP section. And there's like all kinds of like creators and stuff all running around. Yeah, did you meet anyone you yeah, follow? Yeah, I, I like ran into a few people. Um, it's just, I put it in my notes to talk about. I just kind of think it's kind of strange the way creators will go up to other creators and say, we're mutuals. Not like hi oh. or like it, it happened like a couple times. Like we're like we're mutuals. Hey, what's up? And like, hey, comes a second. That's weird. And it's just like I don't know. It's yeah, just like, like, hey, I'm just whatever like, your name is. We follow each other on TikTok. Yeah, it's just like a easy, like a no, more normal way to say it. Like yeah. we're mutuals. Who did you see? Um, I did saw... you see our bestie Davis? Oh yeah, did you see? Davis? No, I didn't see Davis. Ugh. Oh, you would love Davis. I know. Yeah. I wanted to meet him. Um, I'm trying to think of. We saw Brad from. Project Verified. Project Verified. <laughs> I saw him getting loose as fuck. I saw him on stage at a couple points. I saw him in a golf cart. I saw him making out with some chicks. I saw was... him doing the elephant trunk. Woo, woo, woo. Oh. Yeah, I know. He's got a whole new dance move going on. He's That motherfucker never has a shirt on. He's <laughs> out of control. Yeah. When I saw I him, I dude, he's got it going on. Like, There's not a bad thought in that motherfucker's head, and that's real. That's real. Yeah. And he, but he, he's very serious. Yeah. He like, means everything he says. He means it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I went up to him, and I'm like, hey, man, like, how you doing? And he's like, God, boss, awesome. I'm sober. I'm doing, you know, I'm, I'm like on my fitness journey. So, you know, I'm sober. I'm on shrooms, though. I'm going to go crazy. I'm like, that's not sober, but whatever. And he's like, uh, yeah, it's just absolutely nuts. Like, I, I, I kind of like run this shit. And I'm like, go. all right, Brad. Let's get it. He was, uh, he was funny. Did you see anybody? else um i saw oh damn it what is her name you ever see this girl do 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 the names i killed the bug nice Thanks. nice work um anna this girl you ever see her she does like funny skits and I don't think so. And personality. Um, she's funny, oh, though? No, I don't know her. She's oh, really wait, funny. but I watched that, though, the drunk one where yeah. it's like, let's go skiing. <laughs> <laughs> let's go golfing. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. I'm trying to convince myself I'm not yeah. hungover. You know who I love? Um, that girl, Sabrina, that does, like, the sketches. It's oh, like that, I know. Like, the one friend. And she that, does it da, 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 da. so good yeah, that you're like, she's so oh. funny. New York girl? Yeah, she has blonde, blonde hair. hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so good. It's like, yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah. She's Every really funny. single thing is so spot on. I think she's hilarious. Yeah, she should be an actress. Yeah. I know. Yeah. She, I, um, she just had, like, a recent one where it's like, mm, when you give your friend the look and you know you're going to talk about yeah, it Yeah, like, yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. It's so accurate. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love her. What a sketch comedy queen. Um, so nothing else really notable happened. I'm trying to think of anything epic. Like I'm, I'm um, trying to think of epic, epic, hilarious. Did you do tricks. any crowd surfing? Did you belly flop anywhere? Did you um, belly beat flop anyone up? Thing. Beating. onto the grass belly flop onto the oh. grass from the stage would be epic that knock yourself epic. out <laughs> and then wake up and do the worm oh yeah like, like everyone thinks you dead trick. yes that's awesome oh yes okay this could be our trick if yeah. you want to do it I'm in. and we could switch off back and forth who flops so it's yeah. like fair you jump off something really high mm -hmm. and you belly flop and you knock yourself out and mm -hmm. then i tase you alive and then once you feel it you do the worm yes isn't that sick i'm gonna do the worm regardless for getting electrocuted exactly <laughs> yeah and then, but you keep it going and then we say Ooh. hit that fish out that the water, water. Hit, hit that, that fish, fish out the water, water. <laughs> oh yeah if you ever want to get a crowd going at a party oh yeah we did this back back home circle everyone up 
get down on the ground. They'll be like, what the hell are you doing? Stop flopping like a fish. And, and like, oh, hit, hit that, that fish, fish out, out the water. water. Come on, hit, hit that, that fish out, out the water. water. And then and everyone goes in the middle and hits that fish out of the water. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's electric. <laughs> I'm going to do that. It's really fun. <laughs> yeah. uh, we should do that. We should try to get that going at like a bar. Or club. Yeah. Well, your yeah. birthday party. Oh, yes, we could do You're that. You're having a big old birthday party. I'm having a big old birthday party. And you guys are invited. So. And it's a theme, very like, clever one. Yes. Well, it's not that clever. I think everyone does it for their 20 Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know either. They told <laughs> Someone told me to do gold because it's a it's 20, golden birthday. It's 24. Oh, 24 nice. karat gold. And I was like, that's so cool. And then I was like, wait, everyone does that. But like, I'll <laughs> I do it. I never heard of it. I know. We were like, that's cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, but details are to come soon. It's going to be the 24th. My birthday is the 17th, but I'll be in the Bahamas. Bahamas. I'm going to the Bahamas with my family. And um, they're like insane people, mm. which is great. I love them. That's why I'm insane. But I'm <laughs> Like, I would, could really use a wicked chill vacay mm-hmm. in this vacay. You know what? Nothing's worse than going on vacation and coming back tired, like more tired than you were before the vacation. That is exactly, this is going to take a year off of my life. Uh-huh. Every day it's going to be, you know, the fucking TikTok. <laughs> another one. But another one, yeah. the bus, another club. It's going to be <laughs> that and it's just going to be going all day. Thank you. Bye. I don't think I've ever been on vacation and like came back and I'm like, wow, oh, that was relaxing. <laughs> no, like, never. I know. Because <laughs> honestly though, Going to like a tropical place kind of gets boring if you're just laying on the beach all day. Every yeah, day. I it's can't, like like I can't, I can't even lie lay out. There. I like, hate. I can't sit still. I'm like I got to get up. There's a lot of girly pops that can just do it all day long, and and I know, wish because like, I want a good talk. I, I do tan. it. I literally can sit outside just chilling for like five hours. Oh, so me and awesome. my sister, a French, me, we literally just sit there and read a book and just sit outside oh, I get all day. I'm sweating and I'm like, yeah. dude, get me that. I go, but I go, sw- like, obviously, like, I go, sw- I, I love to go swimming in the pool and the beach and stuff, but yeah, I could sit at the beach for hours. I, I can sit at the beach for hours, but I have to like, I'll catch myself and I'm like sitting and everybody's tanning and I'm like, so <laughs> I have to talk. Yeah. I can't not talk. The only I time know. I wasn't talking was when I read a book one time. And I fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> I was flashed out on the beach like this. So tired. And I woke up and said, dude, I gotta go and sour. <laughs> I'm like, I'm burnt. Um, but yeah, I wish I was a tan and girly, but I just freak I gotta like be playing basketball, going skiing, doing yeah. fucking something. I, I gotta, gotta do doing something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, the doctor told me my kidney stones are probably going to pass in the Bahamas. Perfect. Because he's, well, he was like, do you have any like activities coming up? And I'm like, activities? Um, <laughs> I'm going to the Bahamas. He's like, we doing any activities there? And I'm like, yeah, I'll probably go like jet skiing. We're doing ATV in, um, probably swimming a lot. There's That's a, a lot of activities. There's a, there's a water park. He's like, <laughs> and your, pa- uh, your kidney stones going to pass there. And I'm like, what? Perfect. And he's like, don't go upside down. And I'm like, what? Why First can't all, you go upside one down? One of them go upside down. He's like, they're probably going to pass if you go upside down. So I can't do any flips in the pool. Like Why don't I want you go to. upside down before you go? Um, I don't really know how that works. A handstands? Yeah. Monkey bars with your legs? I just like, don't want to induce pain. Yeah, I know. I'm just like, like hoping they get stuck up there forever. Mm. Forever, ever? Forever, ever? ever? Oh, you know, I was thinking about last night. I was texting you. This is yes. just random, but it's a thought, and everyone was agreeing with me. It is so crazy to have exes. Oh, my God, yeah. And you date for, and everyone's like, why are you thinking about your exes? It's not even that. I'm like, like I miss them. It's just so insane that you date someone yeah. for years at a time. They know everything about you. They're your best friends. You're in love with them. They know, like I said, everything about you. They're fucking year raw every day. Yeah. And then one day you just never speak again. You never see them again. It's like they're just eradicated from your memory. You just, you just the trust them with all this knowledge. Of your ex. It's so, and then it's like, damn, I wish you had the men in black thing where you could just zap the sh- I, first of all, I don't want to remember them either because it's just weird. Yeah. And then they remember everything about you. And then you just never talk again. It's so weird. It is weird. And then you just think, one, like I was just thinking yesterday because I was just bored. I was uh, not cleaning my room. So I was like, let me look at every ex-boyfriend I've ever had on what Instagram. What triggered that? I was just bored and I was, I did everything that I could possibly do on my phone. Mm. I'm like, what else could I do? <laughs> Let's look at all my ex-boyfriend's Instagrams. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, dude, it's just so weird. They're living a whole nother life with like a new person, just like me. Mm-hmm. And it's just like that time period never existed yeah it's crazy and it honestly is hard like i don't even really remember those relationships yeah so it's like what the fuck you just it maybe just block it out they men and blacked you oh that'd be cool maybe they did that that's just so insane and i guess it's like kind of when i went home too i'm like this is so weird like at a point like all of those friends like they were like our world mm-hmm. and like they still are we love them but it's like like we don't know anything that's going on like in their day-to-day life anymore. i know and then you go back and it's like what the fuck 
You're my bestie, bro. We got to catch up. Yeah, but you always pick pick right back up. Yeah, of course. You're not going to pick right back up with an ex. I know, but it's like, oh my God, there's so much to fill in. And it's like, what the fuck? It's just weird, like, growing up and, like, fizzling out relationships. I know. Yeah. It is a weird thing growing up. Yeah. Oh, it was so sad when I went home, too. Um, I guess you didn't really have, you didn't like anyone in college. But, yeah, like, I when I that. left my college like I just remember how hard it was and it yeah. was like the saddest thing ever like leaving oh, my yeah. friends and at this graduation um my cousin the one that I brought to Tart she her best friend of four years like they were roommates through everything they had to say goodbye to each other at the end of the night because her friends moving back to Texas yeah. and it was so fucking sad to watch like they were hyperventilating crying and I'm like dude it's so sad growing up because like when you graduate college you have that first realization of like holy shit, it's real world, real life. And I kind of had it all over again. I was like watching her, watching them be like, what the fuck is going on? Like we're adults now, college is over. It was like also a beautiful video though. Oh, it was gorgeous. I took so many pictures. so sad though. But remember how scary that was when we were like, oh, school's over. I know. Oh, and it's it's real world. It's like, we're just jumping right into this. Yeah, I was getting PTSD for them. I'm like, (laughs) dude, fuck. Yeah, you're gonna go through it. Like we went through it for a couple of years of being like, I don't know who I am. I don't know what life is. And college is crazy because you're with those people every single waking moment of the day. Like in high school. They're your new family, yeah. Yeah, like in high school, you're, you're like you go home to your parents house you see them the next day yeah but like you're just like living with them at all times you know everything yeah you, you know their poop so schedule fast. yeah <laughs> like and <laughs> then you just uh, you graduate and it's like okay see you i don't know when yeah because most of the time everyone like lives different in different states yeah 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 so they all, my, all of my like high uh, college friends i was the only out-of-state girl in my entire friend group 14 yeah, girls same. so they all like live in michigan california i have like three friends in dc which is like close but it's like still kind of far yeah Yeah. and it's sad to think about because i'm like why don't you guys come visit me like come visit and they're like oh come to michigan i'm like yeah that's my problem too (laughs) i'm like why doesn't anyone want to come to new york city i know (laughs) i know even my friends from home i'm like guys i'm having a birthday party in new york city and they're like Oh, New York City. Everyone's so, like, scared of it I here. Know. I'm I know. I'm like, just come. God, You'll like it. it. It's a lot more fun here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. New York City. We can do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, yeah. like, I don't want to go to a, some bar, like, in the suburbs of Detroit. Like, I come know. here. Like, one every once in a while, sure, but come to New York yeah, City. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about that yesterday. Like, um, Nora says she likes it, but on the, on her face, I can kind of tell she's not, she's kind of a little iffy. It's Oh, I, I guess I just don't realize that it's a lot. Yeah. Oh, it's like yeah. going, going, going at all times, whether you're going out or even just walking in the city, there's just so much going on. It's like stimulation overload. For sure. And like my sister, like when she gets hung over, she's like, she gets like a little like anxiety and like. <laughs> While she was trying to deal with that, the sirens are going by. She's like, come on. Yeah, that's a nightmare. <laughs> it's just a nightmare for some people. I know. Because we, we were, drown it out. Yeah, we were talking about this yesterday, like you said. But yeah, when I went home, everyone was like, how do you like New York? And I'm just like, dude, like I'm never leaving. Like I love it so much. And I was talking to one girl and she's like, yeah, I always want to visit my sister there. And I just fucking hate it. And I'm like, what? Like, how can you hate it? And then I'm like, well, yeah, I guess it's just so much. Like, I guess you have to be a certain type of person to enjoy living in a city like this. Yeah. It's like, just, it's all, it's just entirely different. Yeah, you're just a city girl. You're not. Yeah. Yeah. City boys up. And I just, I just up. assumed that everyone's in on it. I know. Cause like the second we moved here, it was magic heaven to me. And I never had that. I never had that time where I hated New York. Maybe I hated not having friends. It was, yeah. And it was like COVID. Yeah. But I was always like, this is the coolest place in the world. I know. So I guess you either just love it or you absolutely despise it. It's like pickles. Mm. Yeah, mm, you really yeah. love pickles, but you really don't like pickles. That's true. There's no really, you're either a pickle lover or you just don't fuck with pickles. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. That's true. I guess New York's just like pickles. It's Pickle City. Yeah. Pickle City, pickle USA. City. <laughs> Rock City, too, man. We were also saying the other day that, um, like, for a full two years of moving here, we would, like, have a lot of nights where we were just like, this is freaking awesome. Like walking home from somewhere, you're yeah. like, mm, my life is a movie. Yeah, <laughs> totally. This place is really cool. Every day feels like a movie. In I know. New York. <laughs> yeah, life's a movie. You just bro. put on your headphones and walk outside, and you play Epic. like a specific song, and you're like, life is incredible. <laughs> it's like a <laughs> really cool. Yeah. Like nothing is better than putting your headphones in a New York City and mm. strutting down the street like you are the delusional fucking Taylor Swift. <laughs> mm. Am I around the me? I'm the coolest person in the world. Mm. No one's looking at you. Someone's dying behind you. Yeah. But I it's saw like your, you feel like a freaking superhero. I saw your um comment on that that delusional girl oh the delusional, the delusional girl. girl um do oh, you wait, have, do we that? have that video 
Oh, There's this, uh, it's who was, so funny. Someone was performing, and this girl was like in front of the, the Bryson performer. Tiller, I think. And she he thought everyone was looking at her, and she's going back like this. No, we need to play it. Like, That's hilarious. Dude, everyone's watching him perform. <laughs> Yeah, this, this video, it has a million likes now. Posted one day ago. That's crazy. <laughs> but it's it's this girl. She thinks she's the main character when this guy, guy is recording Bryson Tiller performing at the club. Watch the girl. It's the funniest thing I've ever fucking seen. She looks in the camera. <laughs> like, Dude, the comments are so funny. I commented me being delusional in every coffee shop. I'm in New York City. <laughs> and everyone's like, damn, nah, she's just in the club trying to look mysterious. This is my toxic trait. <laughs> Let her feel herself. <laughs> damn. <laughs> that's so funny because, dude, I feel like that's everyone in New York is so delusional. Like, everyone thinks they're the coolest person in the world. I know. And it's, it's so funny. It's like everyone just thinks they've got it going on. Yeah. And a lot of times they do. They do. Yeah. But Nora was, Nora was like in awe. A lot of the times, like, like you just overhear someone's conversation and it's like well he said we had a table well i'll see you in paris next week anyways it doesn't matter yeah, <laughs> yeah like, that crazy. conversation was crazy <laughs> yeah people i mean i feel like it's there's people that just like enjoy living in the city and like they like go with the flow and they love the fast-paced life or there's the people that like make living in new york city like a, a like their only uh personality trait yes and it's like Yes, I'm in New York City and I do this. <laughs> and then, like, I go to all these rooftops yeah. and stuff. Like, they don't actually enjoy living in the city. It's like they want people to know they live in the city. Yeah. Like a day in my life as a 24 year old that lives in New yes. York. It's they just go get coffee, go to yeah. Pilates, like, and then, what, like, get how a do you How do you live in your apartment? Yeah, like, what <laughs> I the know. hell? Yeah. And that's also, like, the thing where it's um, if you're taking pictures or you're taking videos, you're not having fun. Yeah. Mm. Like, if you're. I know. Every time I try to do those types of videos, like, a day in my life, I forget always forget everything. to record because, like, I never, like, my my first thought is never like oh my god I have to like put this on my day in my life like I know even though it, they are fun to make and like it's 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 fun to like watch back and be like oh that's what I did like because I forget everything that I do I know thank I know. god but for I videos have the time better. because it's like that's our job you got a new phone <laughs> I got a new phone yesterday it's Pop friggin' off. purple it's friggin' purple <laughs> yay and I have a camera now so now I'm gonna have real Instagram pictures and guess what I bought what a film camera last night oh you did so we're gonna have epic photos all summer oh, long let's go summer long and I'm gonna be a little photographer and get all the best flicks of my friends. Friends. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so excited. I freaking love that idea. I know. I'm super pumped. Your pictures are so awesome. I know. Film cameras are awesome. And especially because it's like a big old surprise when you yeah. get them developed. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. And it's just like, we have these, we can't look at them, and then we have them, and then here they are, and it's a beautiful memory. <laughs> here it is. It's just magic. <laughs> it's so crazy, dude. Like, I was thinking about it last night, because I was going down, like I said, doing anything I can besides clear my room. Mm -hmm. So I went down a rabbit hole, a uh, rabbit hole of cameras. And it's so insane that like all digital cameras are coming back and they're like, no, so cool. And the fat, like the coolest thing ever when like, even like five years ago, if we brought out a digital camera, it's like, you're a loser. It's like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. It's just because we get so bored with like everything that we have. Like when we yeah. first got iPhones, it was so cool because there was never a phone with a camera on it. Mm -hmm. And now we're so used to it. It's so good. It's like, well. We already did that. We it's want just the, too good. Let's get, let's get back to shitty. Back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so crazy. And everyone wants that vintage look. I know. It was so funny when I was home. My friend was trying to say someone looked vintage. <laughs> and she goes up to this girl and she's like, you just look so antique. <laughs> and the girl's like, all right. All That's right, hilarious. Okay. Like, am she's I like, old? no, like, you look really antique. And she's like, no, I thought this bag was cute. I don't know. Like, I thought it was a good outfit. She's like, no, it's a great outfit. You just look super antique. I'm like... Lance, I think you're looking for the word vintage or something like that. She's like, totally, man. You're not totally a granny. <laughs> Dude, oh, man. I freaking miss our friends back home. I know, but we're going home for Fourth of July week. Yes, we are. I'm so excited for that. It's going to be great. I haven't been home in six months. I know. That was my first time home since, yeah, it's fucking crazy. How, uh, Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus Christ. It's just it's so fucking busy. I know, man. It's like when we come back from traveling, just want to like have that live in my apartment maybe for yeah. like two <laughs> seconds. I know. Gee, are you going to get a cat? I think after our trip. Oh, smart. Yeah. Smart. Um, the one that I put out on my That's story so was so cute, but she got taken, unfortunately. But I figure Brie was nice enough. She DM'd me and she was like, I'll, I'll take care of it Like when you go on your vacation. Oh, yeah. Probably would have tried to keep it. I know. Yeah. That's what I, I, I was thinking. Like, But what if it ends up Crazy liking like you me. more than <laughs> me? Like, more. Then I don't have a connection with it. So, yeah. I'm going to see if something like happens when i come back okay and you're getting a dog oh my god did i say this 
I don't think we talked about you getting a dog. No, you didn't. Oh, okay, I got to show you my dog because I've never seen a dog. Because I'm always like, my whole thing is like, I don't know which dog I would like fully connect with. Yes. Like, I just don't know. Because like, like, there's a lot of cute dogs out there. Yeah. And we HD. were in the West Village. And I'm like, I like that dog. I like that dog. And then Dude, I was like, okay, but I'm was, in love with that dog. There was, when we were sitting at, in the West Village, maybe fucking 30 just different breeds of dogs walked by. The most perfect dogs in the world. And we would stop everyone because we were like, she's in the market for a dog. Yes. So I would stop everyone and say, what's the, what? I kept saying brand. What is it? What's the species of this dog? What's it called? Um, yes, yeah, the breed. 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 What's a yeah, breed? breed? And then we got all the breeds and we wrote them all down. And then Grace found this. We saw this one dog and I was like, dude. I was like, oh my God, that's my you know dog. It's a um, baby hippo. Baby hippo. Baby hippo dog. That's the name of the dog? Or mini hippo? Mini hippo. Mini hippo dog. All right, guys, quick commercial break. So do you love your shades but find them getting caught in your hair? Frustrating. Our friends at Shady Rays designed sunglasses just for you, and they're actually super cool. I've been waiting for someone to do this forever, and Shady Rays finally did. Their tangle-free aviator is all style with no tangle with their patent-pendant nose pieces created to avoid snags in your hair. So you know when you put your aviators up and those little nose pieces, they always get caught in your hair. Sometimes I just like to wear sunglasses as a literal headband, and then I pop them on whenever I want. When they have the nose piece, they're so annoying. Your hair starts falling out. They get all tangles. Shady Rays tangle-free aviator are one of the hottest selling collections right now and they've added even more style so it prevents any snags in your hair you can find out why they have two over 250,000 five star reviews if you don't love your shades exchange or return them for free within 30 days which is amazing so there's no risk in finding the next pair of sunglasses uh, I've uh, been using Shady Rays for a little bit now they've been sponsoring for us I absolutely love them they're super cute and like I said don't get tangled in your hair so if you love aviators make sure to check out Shady Rays there's uh, styles to choose from and like I said super comfortable and your hair doesn't get fucking stuck so these glasses are their best-selling collection and sell out often. Today, our exclusively, our listeners, Shady Rays is offering 30% off their Tangle Free Aviators and more. So you can head to ShadyRays.com slash Tangle Free with code Plan Bree. Make sure to check it out. We love Shady Rays over here. Summertime is here, so make sure to get yourself some Shady Rays. Let's get back to the episode. It's a Cocker Spaniel and a Sharpay, I think. Oh, it's Sharpays are awesome. really cute. And it doesn't get too big, and it still looks like a puppy forever. And it's all kinds of different looks, but it's got that friggin' face that's so adorable. He looks like he got stung guys. by a bee. Yeah, that's my guy. He's yeah, he is really cute. Guy. And then they got the fluffy, the fluffy ones too, which are really cool. Yeah, look at that fluffy one to the left right there with that little gray fluffy behind him. Um, yeah, that's the one like we saw. But yeah, a that's color. the guy. Yeah, he's so cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so you got to get a dog. I, I think know. a dog will change your life. I know. I need it. Yeah. I, need, I just need um, oh, companionship and uh, responsibility. <laughs> Yeah, I feel the same it's way. Nice to ha- it's, it, it's nice to have something that needs you. Yeah. It's like, dude, I can't kill myself. Like, I need these. Do- this guy needs me. Yeah. These cats need me. This dog like, needs this, me. You got two guys that really need you. They really need me. I wake up to them staring at me every morning. I'm like, dude, what would, I, what would they do without me? Seriously. They're just my best friends. Those are cool guys. I love my cats, guys. I can't stop freaking thinking about them all the time. I um, oh. I was looking at old videos last night, and I found a hilarious video of you trying to put them on a leash. Mm. Oh, my God. It was so funny. Oh, I did. I Let me see if I can pull be, it up. It's really funny. I wanted funny. them to be outdoor. Not outdoor cats, but <laughs> it just makes me so sad that... I get to experience the world and my babies don't. And I'm like, dude, they just have to stay in this fucking apartment for their whole lives. So I try to leash train them, but they were not fucking having it. Um, but I'm, I got some. Oh, I'll show you what I ordered for them. And I'm going to bring them to Central Park. And it's absolutely epic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got this for Mango and Ollie. And they're going to have some some great days in Central Park with their mother. <laughs> Go ahead, just check this out. I got this cat tent off of Amazon, and I'm just so happy with it. But most importantly, my boy Dude, how epic. Right here is Whoa, I didn't even know he was in the tent. Yeah, it's huge, and it has three separate rooms. Oh, what the heck? This is perfect. Yeah. Wait, that cat is so cute. Look at that. You got this? Yes. This is awesome. Super easy to assemble, too. About 150 bucks on Amazon. Check it out if you want to have some oh, fun with your cats. Oh, my gosh. Epic. A food room, a poop room, and a living room. Oh my gosh. A couple tunnels to have fun. Gonna, they're going to lose it. They're going to lose their minds. Yeah, I'm going to get loaded and they're going to have a blast. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So that's, that's again. perfect. Everyone needs an get? animal. Uh, it probably comes this week, but I'll do it when I come back from Bahamas. Oh yeah. Yeah, it'll be a good time. You could use a CP day. Those yeah. are the best days ever. We could vlog it. Oh, absolutely. Oh yeah. yeah. Epic. And I'll perfect. put my kitten in there. Yeah. Oh, it's Pride Month, guys. Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. We're, we have the New York City Pride Parade uh, June 25th. 25th. So if you're in New York City, I think we're on a float. Um, we're on a party bus, I believe. Oh. Yes. Epic. There's AC, I know. But that's... With Barstool? Yes. Oh, nice. But how can anyone see us? Uh, windows down. On a bus? I don't know the details, but I know it's not the pickup truck this year. 
Okay, cool. It is going to be. Last year was so much fun. So fun. Pride is awesome. Yeah, Pride is just like that. Especially in New York City, it was like so magical. I don't know. It's just like every single person is so happy besides the protesters that are homophobic. Oh, those fucking assholes. But honestly, I'll bring eggs this just, year. Oh, we should egg them. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. But what if we get shot? I feel like they have they fucking They do guns. carry. They're, yeah. they're locked and loaded. Yeah, let's just let them be miserable. They yeah. can just enjoy being miserable. Fucking don't even assholes. look at them. We'll just go. Yeah, so that's epic. Screwballs. Um, oh, I have to go. Oh, okay. I have BFFs. Oh, BFFs time. Oh, but we, this was an hour and 15 minutes. Perfect. So. All right. Um, uh, This is today's episode brought to you by Pirate Water. Brought to you by Pirate Water. And we'll talk to you guys on Tuesday. See you at Tulum. See you Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs>